Hi guys, this is Bestillion. and welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. Today I'm talking about the latest apparel microtransactions for Escape from Tarkov and also the latest patch for Tarkov Arena patch 0.1.5.1. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. All right, so the Escape from Tarkov website went down yesterday and then they updated it with the ability to buy apparel. They linked a, uh, made a post on Twitter saying it was available. And then when you log into the website and then go to escapefrontarkov.com forward slash expansions and scroll down a little bit, there is the apparel unlock. There are three outfits for USEC and there are three for bear, all of different value. So you could get the uh, the bear, was it the Telnik upper, the Zalson, Zaslon, sorry, and the G99, and they'll set you back between five, seven and 12 euro if you wanted to get this. Now this means you'll have it on wipe day, Every single wipe, you'll be able to put on whatever clothing you want. And then that's the same for the USEC. So I'm not a big like clothing kind of person for Escape from Tarkov for any game, really. So uh, this might get you excited or not. Uh, it's just another way for BSG to funnel money into supporting the development of the game. So if you want to do this, all well and good. It doesn't really affect anyone that plays the game, in my opinion. But hey, a lot of the questions or posts on the actual Twitter thread, if you wanted to go down there, I won't scroll down. But... A lot of people saying WTF bait and all this other crap. And then there's other people saying, I wish there was more choices that weren't even, even in the game at the moment. BSG are trying to stick to their word with uh, only adding, you know, the stash lines, which were this bit back here, uh, which I've already purchased, and the co-op upgrade. And I don't believe anything else is coming after this, but it's their way of having a little bit extra funds coming in for Escape from Tarkov whilst also um, still developing the game. Now, we'll make note. Um, BSG have said they're not going to do other items in the game. So, for example, they're not going to add it that you can buy the Gamma container or any sort of in-game advantage. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. It's a slippery slope. All right, next up, we have the Escape from Tarkov Arena patch. Uh, patch at 0.1.5.1. This came out about four hours ago, and they released the patch notes. Now, I played a heap of Escape from Tarkov Arena during the Tarkov Arena drops, and I had a lot of fun. I played, I put a... I played a couple of days on a laptop. It was really bad playing with like 40 FPS. And, uh, you know, it was a bit of fun doing that. But then I had one day where I said, you know what, we're going to go high as best as we can. And I put a good team together. I had like Red Ops and uh, Train underscore underscore Harms. And I think it was Tube. And we just absolutely annihilated. I think we went 28 wins and two losses. And we shot up the ranks. It was a lot of fun. But we did in that process see a lot of flaws. I do see Arena being a game that will survive for a period of time. I'm seeing it as going to have to live off the coattails of Escape from Tarkov's main game and also um, when the game's actually linked over, I think some people will use Arena for uh, leveling up some stuff, getting some extra currency in the game, but also just keeping them nice and warm when it comes to being able to PvP in Escape from Tarkov. Now, as for these patch notes, the unranked game mode has been added to the game. Now, I'll put a nice little note here that the actual unranked game mode was meant to come in on the patch 0.1.6 which was meant to come out mid-spring. So I don't know, it's, I think, autumn in Australia now, so spring in America would probably be about a month away. So it's probably about a month or two uh, early, but hey, no one's ever complained about something coming early. So 0.1.6 patch, unranked game mode has been brought forward. So now there is unranked game mode in Escape from Tarkov Arena, and it is uh, available right away, ready to go, just got to update. They have the team fight and shootout two, it's like the team fights the 5v5 games, and shootout 2v2, and 3v3 are available for unranked mode. They've removed the team restrictions of selecting duplicate presets so you can have everyone on the same preset. Reduce the number, uh, minimum number of selected locations to one. So if you just want to practice sawmill, you can. Or increase the cash rewards up to 20% for tier one, 30% for tier two, and 45% for tier three in comparison to ranked mode. And on the career screen, the stats are divided into ranked and unranked. As for matchmaking, this is not just uh, for unranked mode. This is for the whole game. There is now a 45, uh, 45 second time period for pre selecting your preset no longer at 90 seconds so if you got afk after you accept the game and it starts loading to the game you're gonna go poop you need to get back because otherwise you're not gonna be able to get your selected preset and i'll give you a random one instead uh, and they also reduced the match accept time from 30 seconds down to 25 so uh if you're there you're there if you're not you're not sound out of the sound volume of setting for the arena announcer minimum volume is 30 percent of current volume so that's a huge one a lot of people complain about the the announcer it's a bit frustrating when he's constantly screaming and you just want to like focus on listening for the enemy and shooting them 
So, yep, that's a good one. I'm actually glad they added that in. I didn't think they'd ever make it so you could remove it completely because everyone would just turn it off. But yeah, 30%. I haven't tested this out, but I believe it will be a much better volume. And they also added the volume setting for the match accept notification. Minimum volume is 30% of the current volume. Uh, so that's when you queue up for Escape from Tarkov Arena and then it finds a match for you and then it goes rrr, 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 and it's super loud and everyone in your team is like, oh my God. And I'm always like, hey, at least I'll know that I have to click accept. So that is uh, being reduced or you have the ability to reduce it. This is another really big one. I think people were asking for this one. Reduce the volume, the radio turn, turn on and off noises. That's like, Shh, uh, I'm over trying to capture the point. That is also being able to get, or has been reduced and increase the overall volume of radios. Now, I honestly think they should just do it like Escape from like CS, where you can just talk to your teammates just like normal. I know it's cool having this whole radios thing, but the people that are winning arena ranked games are in Discord. They're all five-man squads in the Discord, and then you've got all the, let's call them plebs, all the people with no friends playing arena, and then they're getting absolutely stomped by people that are, have Discord and they can't talk to people while they're dead, blah, 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 blah. So they should just make it that you can talk to your teammates while you're dead, particularly in ranked mode because the other team are doing it anyway. Now, quality of life experience exceeding the amount needed for a current selected preset will be carried over to the next preset. So that means like in the past, if you had like five experience points left to go to, to finish that one preset that you are leveling up and you win and you got like 12,000 XP, only five of that XP would have uh, be added and they had to start the new one now that will flow over to the next preset in that line now they've added a lot harder penalties for killing allies in to in in a match so they reduce the number of kills of, for warning penalty from four to three reduce the number of kills for the offending player to be kicked and blocked from six to four added the offending player block for killing and damaging allies uh, before the gates open and for some time after and then the player is instantly killed and warning is issued if they damage or kill an ally on a repeat offense the player is instantly kicked from the match blocked from matchmaking for 30 minutes if the player repeats this, uh, the offense further, punishment will be increased. So that's if you're just constantly going into games and killing your teammates, you will slowly get banned for longer and longer. Now, the leaderboard. The statistics displayed on the rating screen now only count results for ranked games, and there has been fixes to several issues causing the game accept screen to be missing for some group of members. So that's when you queue up, and then that loud noise happens, and then in mentor accept. Sometimes it wouldn't show there for all players. So that is now hopefully fixed. Now they did do a little patch a little long while ago and that was to help fix the hit rage on Escape from Tarkov Arena. And hopefully that has th made things better in there. I haven't played it since that patch. I haven't really seen any feedback on that either. Now, like I said before at the start of the video, I honestly think Arena will survive for a while. Um, it, it does have a long way to go to becoming successful. And I honestly think this is gonna be this one factor right here is gonna be the one thing that's gonna save Arena long-term. And that's the synchronization of Escape from Tarkov and Escape from Tarkov Arena game profiles. That's where you're going to be able to level up your main account character on Escape from Tarkov with your Arena character and also be able to make money. So when people are struggling in the main game, they can jump over to Arena, do some little like games over there, and then hopefully be able to make some more cash in the main game. Hopefully make them better at PVP and therefore make them better overall in the main game that's the whole theory behind it but with this next content patch coming sometime in the next couple of months with the new game mode last hero and the new location the quality life improvements cleanup crew behavior improvements game climate performance optimization any treat improvements that should just be a default over every single day of their lives now the synchronization and the implementation of overtime system in team fight so th that means like the implementation of overtime systems like you have to win by more than one game so if it's a five four score we'll have to go to like six four and then three months later after that one they've meant to be releasing the patch 0.2.0.0 which is another content patch having the preset customization the new location new game mode various technical and functional improvements quality life improvements custom lobby improvements match history ability to view player profiles and the achievement system i think achievement system will help get people to play a little bit more as well i do like arena i actually more played it the other day with uh with red ops and the other and other people I, I really found that i was actually really enjoying it my fear is it's not a good competitive game and they've got a long way to fix that up there's some things that i think are pretty common across the board um the cleanup crew is not good for ranked mode it should just be radiation or they need to have it make it so it forces people to get drawn into the capture point because the way it currently works is the cleanup crew is just complete rng and there's people finding tactics of being able to hide in certain spots in the map 
And it's just really like making it kind of weird. Like people so fixated on wanting to increase their rank that they'll do any dodgy tactic to get there. So, and then there's a lot of issues with just being able to find people once you get to a higher rank and all that. They have started doing stuff that is making it better, but we're just gonna have to wait and see. But I will keep you guys updated. So if you got this far in the video, please like and comment for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe. Help us get to the million subs. Um, I've just started my next part of the or I'm just about to start the next part of the hardcore series where we got two max traders and we're going to go all the way to Kappa and I'm working on more guides. So um, Woods and Lighthouse guides are coming and then after that, we're going to start working on how to make a shitload of money in Escape from Tarkov. So leave this one here. Thanks for watching. And lastly, I'll see you next time.